Hey everyone! Here is a quick tutorial on the map I want you to produce in preparation for your field trip in the Chilai River Valley. I also, it's also a sort of like a brief tour of the River Valley an overview of some of the things. For so here's Chilliwack, and the valley goes down here, and there's Chilliwack Lake. I'm sure several of you have been down there already before. So there's fairly significant streams that um, come into the valley bottom in the Chilliwack River. Um, but there's also this area has really unique geology, so we're going to look at that for a minute. So you're going to go to Map Layers, Map Data Sources, Add Data BC Layers. Uh, I'd like you to start by just adding one layer. And what we're going to add is Geological Bedrock. What's interesting is you can also choose to add the Quaternary Geology, which is the more recent rocks. That have been hit apply. Okay, so more recent rocks have been formed in, in this area. So, um, what you're going to notice is if you zoom out, you're going to lose the whole thing because uh, you have to be at a certain extent to see the geology. Okay, so then you'll see these colors come up. First thing, you can make this a little bit more transparent so you can actually see the base map. Move your pan, move along here. And what you're going to do now is, so each one of these colors, these blobs, they're called polygons. And the polygons each represent a different geological um, bedrock. So under Geological Bedrock Column Themed, you're going to click on that, and you're going to add labels. So right now you can't actually click on the label, so you have to click on the little tag. And under this, you're going to pick, let's see, there's all sorts of different parameters you could pick, um, but here is rock class. So start with that. Okay. Okay. So what you should now see, if it wasn't transparent, is these labels: sedimentary rock, sedimentary rock, intrusive rock, metamorphic rock. Okay. So, so at this visible scale. What I'd like you now to do is make it a little bit more transparent and I'd like you to take a screenshot. So hit print screen on your keyboard or I like to use this little tool, as you can't see in the toolbar, called the snipping tool. Here's what it looks like. You each have that if you've got a PC. If not, just hit print screen, new, and then I can just clip this area and paste it into Word, or again, hit print screen and save that screen capture in a Word document or in a folder on its own. I'm not going to save it for now. Okay, so let's talk about what we're seeing here. So if you go into Analysis and you pick this Identify tool, like the rectangle one here, what you can now do is, for instance, the intrusive rocks in the Chilliwack River Valley, if you pick that polygon, See how it highlights it? And just like that. So double click on that. And now what you get is what's called an attribute table. So for that one polygon, here's all the data that you can get. So the geological era and period in which that rock was formed. Um, rock type description. So it's granodiuretic intrusive rocks. Um, origin description, etc. Okay, so at the tail end of the valley where the lake is, this is where we find the intrusive rocks. So in the middle of the valley here, you get these metamorphic rocks. So again, with my identify tool, I'm picking these ones. Uh, metamorphic here, and I'm going to color themed pick this one. And in the attribute table for that one polygon, you see all the components and explanation as what type of rock. For instance, this is called greenstone, green schist metamorphic rocks. Very cool. And now for the rest of the valley, so we see a lot of sedimentary rocks. So I'm just going to highlight that whole area. So it's the green, or sorry, this lime green, and then this other green. Um, and you can just move your cursor on each one of these and I'll show you. So let's have a look at um, these metamorphic rocks here. So you can see how it's selecting this one. So if I click on that, and what I see is this is 
Oh, neat. Mudstone, siltstone, shale, fine classic sedimentary rocks. There you go. So this is how you can explore the geology of the area. So again, please make sure you took a screen grab and you can save that as an image file. And there is a Dropbox, the 12 Dropbox, I'd like you to submit it um, for participation marks.